I'm doing acrylic today instead of gel polish so I thought I'd show you all my glitter bells collection I don't have a crazy amount um this is literally it there's no like extra drawers or anything um this is all I have so I'm gonna be doing some acrylic marbles oh, let me just get down here because it's the bottom drawer so I'm gonna be doing some acrylic marbling um for this video I know that my channel seems to be full of just marble because to be honest i just love doing it so that's why but i think i'm gonna do a bit of pink and black i think that'll look really effective um and then i just thought i'd show you what i've got because i think it'd be easier for you to suggest what you want to see and stuff if you've seen what i've got um in terms of future videos so I'm not going to do like a major like here's everything I've got kind of thing. I'm just going to do a real quick here's what's in some of my drawers thing. Um, I'm talking that fast I'm actually out of breath. <laughs> so I'm going to use highlighter pink and carbon black for this first marble. I am going to do a couple but that's the first one we use. So here's the next drawer. We've got all my random stuff in here. Um... It's just, I'd just call it an air light drawer because that's the best way I can explain it. So I've got all of my inks here, um, Blue Sky 4D gels, and then we've got the potted UV dried flowers, acrylic paint, um, dried flowers at the back, under here, some tape. So neon pigments as well, love those. So there's that and then next one quickly we've got glitter here's my magpie glitters so that is double layered at the moment this is actually a drawer i've just tipped upside down because i'm waiting for storage to arrive and then you've probably all seen this already yes i am in my pajamas and it is four o'clock in the afternoon <laughs> Um, so this has got glitters in and then at the back of it I've put my decals in it so they're all kept together that is in another video of mine I think I can't remember which one it is but I'll link it in this one anyway and then I've got business card holders with all my foils in do, do, do. I'm just trying to get through this quick so I can get into the video so there's foils and then I've got what I use daffin dishes and then glitter triangles to catch any excess I've got a weird little part of nails here <laughs> with the designs that I've done previously for videos and just for photos and stuff like that. Like just completely random like this one. That's really cute. But yeah, just completely random stuff. But I like to keep them. Um, so I'll show you my other ones. Hold on. So these drawers are a little bit all over the place at the moment because I've I've just got those new drawers I've just showed you. So I've kind of split everything up and it's all a bit over the place. It's not finished. So this isn't like a proper um, nail room tour because it's not finished at all actually. So I'm not showing you my desk or anything like that. Um, these are my Glitter Bells Core Powders. Um, so we've got Snowdrops White, Pink of El Sheer, Dusty Rose, Sugared Almond... And then up here is my Navy Pro Tools things in a little drawer. Business cards. And then at the back we've got more business cards and forms and sanding bands. Then we've got Nao acrylic powders. Um, I originally used Nao nails for acrylic um, for quite a while actually. For about... <laughs> I think I got my first kit when I was 10 and I stopped using them about a year and a half ago when I started with glitter bells. So that's how long I've used those. This is my label maker. These are extra buffers, uh, room spray. This is what I use to light my candles when I've got clients in. And then this is my stamping drawer. So I've got in here, they're those really cute little packages. I've just realised it was in my nail mail haul that that folder was in and so are they. They're from Clear Jelly Stamper. And then I also use Blue Sky's Weekly Polish for stamping because it is nice and pigmented. My favourite is number 48, which is a nice metallic type of silver. It's stunning. And then everything else to do with stamping, like my stampers, scrapers, lint-free roller, lint-free roller? <laughs> lint roller. And then extras for that. And then all of my, let me just get this out. 
okay so it's not easy to do with one hand but then all of my stamping plates are currently in this really cheapest chips um photo album i have got another one on the way to match the folder that i use for glitters um i think it's going to be pink though not clear oh my god why are these so heavy um so yeah i keep all of those together apart from the new new ones i'm not bothering putting them in here because i'm getting new storage anyway i will go into more detail about all the things that i've got and where everything's kept and stuff like that and where i got things from in another video when everything's up and running and where i want it everything i will show you and explain a hell of a lot more detail when i get to that point so in here i've got hard gels my extend system don't really use this definitely don't use it on clients yet um and then ink london hard gels which i have to say are amazing i love them i don't work a lot with hard gel but when i do i'm not really that annoyed about it anymore because i like that brand <laughs> these two are empty at the moment because that's where my glitter bell stuff was and then in here we've just got random stuff so gloves record cards and then backup monomer i use the violet monomer from glitter bells and then this sanitizer spray i have this one and another one on the way ready for reopening and then i will keep this on my desk as well so that's that i've just spilt a bag of rubbish that's unfortunately got rubbish it's gonna go everywhere in it which is annoying and then this is literally just random stuff for waxing and gift bags so so i just wanted lastly to show you all of my gel polishes um those on there the top four well all of the black bottles are blue sky those white ones are premier gel but i'm not gonna go into that because i'm in the process of getting rid of those and then over here we've got half blue sky because they're no wipe top coats and the types of glitter that you put over colors just to give them a little shimmer keep those next to me at all times and then these here are all halo gels this oh my god i've just chucked it on the floor okay so when i'd finished throwing it on the floor and then picking it up again this is a magpie gel color this is the only one from magpie that i have and literally just going off this one i have decided that i want the whole collection i absolutely love them the bottles are a great size they are 15 mil it's super easy to soak off i've got it under my chromes at the moment um and it's just absolutely amazing so i will be getting the full magpie collection and then i just keep all my swatches here which is also going to change. I've got new plans for my swatches. So I'm going to get into the video now instead of boring you all to death because it's already gone on for long enough and I've not even done anything yet. So for this, as you saw, I'm going to use highlighter pink and carbon black. So we've got a really nice bright pink and black. There's <laughs> not really any descriptive words I can give black apart from it's black. So I'm going to get those ready. I'm going to take off all the other nails that I'm not using. Okay, so I'm going to get started. So first of all, you want to make sure that your top left corner is nice and filled with colour because that is the hardest part to actually get marble to marble <laughs> because it's just such an awkward place. So you want to pick up your, your acrylic really, really wet. Um, make sure you've got quite a lot of... I'm just going to get a little bit more pink because the black's going to be really overpowering. So make sure you've got quite a lot of liquid in the back of your brush. And then you're just going to run it through, basically. Be really careful and only use the very tip. You don't want to go crazy and start digging into it. I've got a little air bubble there, so just get rid of that. And then digging into it and moving it all around everywhere. Like You want to keep it pretty, pretty simple, really. So I'm going to go in with another bead of pink, a little bit of black, and then swish that through. So I'm really hardly touching it at all. I'm just going in places I feel like I need to. It kind of marbles on its own as well, so you don't really have to put too much effort in. If you use it wet enough, it will kind of do the work for you. So another bead of black, bead of pink. Make sure you've got liquid in your brush. Make sure you fill in any gaps. 
There we go. And the bottom bit I'm going to do mainly pink. So quite a bit of pink, a tiny bit of black in comparison. And then pull them through each other. Make sure you cover the whole nail. And there we go. It's that easy. <laughs> it's not that easy though, unfortunately, to get my phone to focus on what I want it to focus on. So we've got a lot more black down here than pink. If you want to sort that out, I mean, I like it like that. Oh, my phone's wobbling, Jesus. But if you don't want that, just pop some more colour in. Just add. Why not add it in? And there we go more pink you can't really see it that well with my lighting situation which is really really frustrating but there's not really a hell of a lot I can do about it you can see the top half a lot better than the bottom so I'm assuming it will be a lot easier when it dries and it's not so shiny but we'll see so I'm just doing this corner now if in doubt add glitter that is how the nail industry works if you have any problems with anything, just cover it in glitter. Nobody will question you because everybody loves glitter, so there you go. So I've got a little gap. I can see it, but you probably can't on camera. I've got a little hole in my in the middle of the nail. So I'm just filling that with some colour, but making sure to blend it with the rest as well so it doesn't look like you've just added a blob of colour. So we're going to wait for that to set. So now would be the time to encapsulate. I'm not going to because I'm lazy and I don't want to waste clear acrylic because, you know, now I've got the time to be wasting and stuff like that. So I'm going to leave this like that and go on to the next nail. I'm going to do two marbles because this video is going to be really long if I do more than that. And then I will buff over them both and then top coat at the end. So I'm going to pick more colours to do a normal, another marble with. Okay, so I've picked out blue velvet, sky blue and royal blue. Sky blue has a slight shimmer to it, so we'll give a different type of finish. And so does blue velvet. So we're going for a shimmer on this time because it's obviously a different consistency as well. Royal blue doesn't have the shimmer, so we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Who knows? So first, again, I'm just going to make sure I've got some colour in that corner because, again, it's it's that, corner, it's that corner that is a pain in the neck. I'm not going to lie, royal blue is not the best, um, is not the best colour to choose to do a marble, but what is life if it's easy? <laughs> so just adding them again wet beads and then dragging through each other as you can see i've not put quite enough liquid in my brush but don't worry because you can save yourself by just adding a little bit more and that will reactivate the acrylic obviously that only works to a certain extent if it's too far gone then oh dear so there's that. It's really annoying that you can't actually see the blend of colours on the camera. It's quite dark. Probably should have chose lighter colours to do this with. Let me see if turning my light off makes a difference. Okay, it's a little bit better, but we'll just have to go with it. So this time I'm going to do mainly light. So I'm going to get a lot of sky blue this time. And only a little bit of blue velvet and then quite a bit of royal blue as well so dragging through so I usually drag up and then down so up from the middle and then down from the middle I don't really go through the whole thing at any point I usually just stick to the half and half kind of rule just because I find that's what works best for me and then you might find another way works best for you and that's perfect if you do that. So I'm going in with a little bit more blue velvet. I don't need a lot for this bottom bit. And then a bit more sky blue. I just wanted to do one um, with shimmer and one without so you can see the different type 
of effect it gives. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more sky blue down here. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm just going to sort out this top bit here by picking up a tiny, tiny bit of blue velvet and then bit of royal print royal blue and then a bit of sky blue and then we're just gonna marble that very gently because of this area up here and then you can add bits as you go along if you don't feel like you've got enough of one color there make sure it's nice and tidy and then there we go so I'm going to wait for them to set. I'm actually just going to add a little bit more of a marble here in the middle. Just a little tiny bit. So you can keep going in with marble and that's the beauty of it is it doesn't have to be difficult. You can just keep playing until you're happy. So there we go. I'm going to wait now for them both to be completely set and then I will give them a, a buff and then top coat. So this would be the point that you would encapsulate with glass slippers um, because that would save you from filing off your design. But as I said, I'm trying to not use powders that I don't really need to because the last thing I want to do is run out of powder and then as we open, let me not have anything left because I've used it all in lockdown. So I'm not going to encapsulate, I'm just going to gently buff over them. So they're not going to be smooth or anything. I'm just going to top coat them like that but now would be the time to encapsulate in glass slippers, which is Glitter Bowl's clear acrylic. Um, and then you'll get your nice smooth design. And then when you file, you won't file into your marble to change it. You'll just file the, the clear basically to perfect. So I'm just going to leave them like this. I'm going to buff them and top coat off camera. And then I will show you what they look like when I'm finished. Okay, so you can see, obviously, from looking at them now that they're not smooth and anything because the line of light is not great. But I didn't want to uh, to do that because I'm stingy. But that's the look. You can, I'm sure you can imagine it being smooth um, of acrylic marble in two different ways. I will do another video on acrylic marble because I absolutely love it and there's different techniques you can use with it, like with an ombre and, and stuff like that. So I will do another one not too soon because obviously i don't want all my videos to get a bit repetitive like they already are because they're all about marble but um i just thought i'd do a quick tiny 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 mini nail draw tour kind of thing to start the video off just to make it a little bit different to what i've been uploading so let me know if you enjoyed that half of the video and i'll be able to do a proper one soon thank you for watching and i'll be back tomorrow bye